Are you thinking about moving to Northeast Tennessee? Here's five things you'll want to know before you head this way. Number one, taxes. Here's the good news if you haven't heard it already. Tennessee has no state income tax. It's one of seven states that levies no state income tax at all on its residents. This includes Social Security benefits and retirement distributions. And on top of that, we have very low property taxes here in Northeast Tennessee. Let me give you an example. If you purchased a home in the city for $500,000, here's a good rule of thumb to follow. Your tax bill would most likely be about 1% of the assessed value of your home. So your city and county taxes would be around $5,000. Now let's take that same home and move it to the country. Now you're only going to pay county taxes. A good rule of thumb to follow there would be a half a percent. You would pay about a half a percent of the assessed value of that $500,000 home. So your tax bill would be around $2,500. Okay, there's always gotta be some bad news. Our sales tax here in the Northeast corner of Tennessee is kinda high. It's 9.25 to 9.75. That's 7% state sales tax plus 2.25 up to 2.75 for all the local and county taxes depending on where you live. So that would make up the 9.25 to 9.75 sales tax. But there are some sales tax breaks. For instance, if you were to buy a new motor vehicle, you wouldn't pay that full tax. You can go to tn.gov and look up uh, purchasing a motor vehicle and they will give you the calculations on that. Also, we have some tax-free weekends or tax holidays. You can purchase uh, computers, clothing, other items, all tax free. We have one of those weekends coming up in July 2023. Also, here's something to consider with Johnson City, Bristol, and Kingsport being either close to the Tennessee Virginia state line or right along the Tennessee Virginia state line. You can always hop on over to, let's say, Bristol, Virginia and take advantage of that 5.3% sales tax. All in all, even with the high sales tax, you've got the low property taxes and no state income tax. You're probably going to save quite a bit of money. And keep in mind, Tennessee is ranked as having the third lowest tax burden in the nation. Number two, shopping in restaurants. Because Johnson City has a population of around 71,000, Kingsport has a population of around 55,000, and Bristol's population is around 28,000 on the Tennessee side, these towns, along with all the other little towns that surround them, make up a large enough population to attract big box restaurants and stores. So you will see places like Lowe's, Walmart, Home Depot, Hobby Lobby, Home Goods Store. You'll have restaurants like Carrabba's, Longhorn Steakhouse, Bonefish Grill, fast food places like Chick-fil-A, and then all the mom and pop businesses and shopping that give a unique flavor to the area. Plus, we have some great supermarkets too. Publix, Food City, Ingalls, Aldi's, Fresh Market, Earth Fair, but I don't know how to tell you this. We don't have Costco, I know, but we do have Sam's Club. And you won't find businesses like, let's say, Ikea or Cheesecake Factory, like you'll find over in Knoxville or Memphis or Nashville, because our population just isn't high enough. But we also have a lot more elbow room over here. But I think if you move to the area, you're not gonna run out of places to shop or eat anytime soon. And you've always got Amazon. Number three, airports. Yes, we do have an airport here in the Tri-Cities and it is called the Tri-Cities Regional Airport. Airport code TRI. You may need that if you're booking a flight this way. And it's conveniently located between Johnson City, Kingsport and Bristol in a town called Bluntville. It's very easy to drop someone off or pick someone up 
Uh, you're not gonna lose them. They have long-term and short-term parking. I've used both and found them to be very convenient. There are three airlines that operate out of the Tri-Cities Regional Airport, Allegiant, American, and Delta. There are five direct flights out of the Tri-Cities Airport. I'm gonna name those off to you. Cheat, look at my notes. Uh, Atlanta, Charlotte, Dallas-Fort Worth, Orlando, Samford, and St. Pete, Clearwater. They're also planning to add Chicago very soon so you can fly straight to the Windy City. You do have a couple other choices for airports. You could drive about 70 miles over to Asheville, to the Asheville Regional Airport. It's also very convenient. It's a beautiful drive through the mountains, uh, long, windy roads. It's, it's not, you know, scary, curvy <laughs> roads or anything like that. And they have 26 direct flights um, out of the Asheville Regional Airport. You could go in the other direction to Knoxville. That's about 90 miles, a little bit bigger airport, but also very convenient to fly out of. And they have like 27 flights out of the McGee Tyson Airport in Knoxville. Now, all three airports do not have international flights. You would be connecting probably to uh, Atlanta or Charlotte, but you do have over 60 flights to choose from between the three airports. Number four, weather. And I wanna speak specifically on snow and tornadoes. This comes up so often in conversations with people that are moving here from out of state. Yes, we have winter here. We have moderate four seasons. And our winter is about three months long. You can expect an average of 11 to 12 inches of snowfall here in the Tri-Cities, in Kingsport, Bristol, and Johnson City. Now, maybe up in Roan Mountain, you would have higher levels of snow. But what does that look like? Well, maybe a dusting of snow here and there, one or two inches, ooh, four or five inches, that's a pretty big storm. In 17 years that I've lived here, I've seen only about maybe five or six storms, if that. And if we get any kind of snowfall or ice at all, the schools are called off or they're at least delayed. Us Southerners, don't like to go out of the house and get on those roads in bad weather. Tornadoes. Yes, we could certainly have a tornado here in Northeast Tennessee, but let's take a look at the Tennessee tornado map. When you look over in the Northeast corner, there's not very many tornadoes that have taken place or hit this area in over 50 years. Now, when you look at that same map and you start traveling further and further west towards towns like Nashville and Memphis, the number of tornadoes in the past 50 years really picks up. I can't tell you how many times my mom has called me from Michigan to say, honey, you're gonna have a tornado there. You have tornado watches and warnings. The sun is shining, it's completely beautiful, but I look at the Weather Channel anyways and I find out all those watches and warnings are happening on the other side of the state. Keep in mind, the northeast corner of Tennessee is on Eastern time, and you get over towards Nashville, you're on Central time. So that's how wide the state is. Now, we should always take a look at the weather, watch it closely, and I have a recommendation. We've been watching, Shad and I, a great YouTube channel called Ryan Hall Y'all. That's Ryan Hall, y'all, and his team, they are awesome. They're located out of Kentucky, but they watch weather across our country and often call out storms and tornadoes before the local and the national channels do. So you have to check that channel out. Keep in mind, yes, we could have a tornado here, but those same beautiful mountains that we look at every day, they also protect us. Number five, internet because most of us use internet daily in our households, and many of you are already working at home or you're going to be bringing your jobs here with you to Tennessee and working remotely. Internet is vital and we understand that. Let's take a look at our seven county MLS area. 
most of the area has very good internet and high speed internet. Now there's a few areas that we gotta keep an eye on. For instance, if you get over to areas like Roan Mountain, Butler, Mountain City, way south in Greenville, out in Mossheim, Mohawk, parts of Rogersville. Now I'm not saying these areas have no internet at all. It just gets a little more sketchy, probably because they're a little more remote and more mountainous. But all in all, you're probably gonna have good internet. Now another option, if you're not in an area with great internet, is something like Starlink a satellite service and that's getting more and more reliable and more affordable every day. We actually have a client in Roan Mountain that uses that and works remotely at home. Here's a tool that we use. If you're looking at a property, you can even do this from home. You can go to GISConnectedNation.org. That's GISConnectedNation.org. You go into the site, you can see the Tennessee Broadband Accessibility Map, and you can put the address in and see what services would be available to you at that address. So this is very helpful. And of course, we will ask the current homeowners what they're using, because sometimes they have some very good tips too. So there you have it, five things you need to know before you head this way to Northeast Tennessee. I sure hope you enjoyed this video and hanging out here with me at the Willow Spring Park in Johnson City. If you like this kind of information, hit like and subscribe to Living in Johnson City, Tennessee. If you have questions about this area, call, text, or email. Our contact information is listed below. Our team would love to help you. And like I always say, it's never too soon to start planning your move. And I hope to see you here real soon.